and do this thing, guys. Hello, welcome. We're doing the thing right now. The thing being Mongoose's story arc. Hello, Mongoose. Oh, he starts out with my name. Hold on. Google, Google, where are you? Tabes. Hey, you must be one of the new arrivals to Mercy. They call me Mongoose because I'm the best at what I do. Take it down, snakes. If you want to survive on Mercy, you best learn what I got to teach you. If you're tough enough, maybe you'll move up the food chain in the Rogue Isles. Maybe you'll end up dead in a snake pit. I don't really care. I get paid either way. I've been earning a few bucks here and there on snake bounties, but I got what you call expensive taste. So if you're up for it, I got a job for you to pull off. There's a local bank that's just begging to be robbed. Hit the bank and bring back the money. Okay, well that's not the snake job I was expecting. This will be the second time we've robbed the bank in Mercy Island. Oh, dude, he even told us we could use elevators. Did you see that? That's how old this is. Like, that's from before the revamp. Because you used to start way up on uh, in Fort Darwin, all the way up here. And so your next contact, you'd start out with missions up here, and then you'd come down here to do your next stuff. Well, unless you had Dr. Creed. Dr. Creed was actually like... Uh, here, I think. Anyway. We got a bank to rob. The 22nd National Bank. Why not? I like money. You like money? It's so weird. I, I knew you liked money. Don't you worry, we're gonna get some money right now. One day we're gonna be a big boy character. We're gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, I gotta invite this character to my super group so I can go get like my level 15 inspirations and stuff out of Ben's to wear. Is this just all lieutenants? Okay. That's fine with me. Unexpected, but okay. Wait a sec, isn't there a mindless self-indulgence song called A La Mode? It's about how he wants everything with ice cream, like no matter what it is. I think there is. Uh, yeah, I knew it. This is a lot of uh, lieutenants they've got me fighting here. Oh no, more guards showed up. It's an ambush. You know, I've already robbed one bank on this character. From Firewire's arc. I just brawl this door to death. All I think is going to take the brawl. Is somebody shooting me? What? Where did they come from? Guys, I'm trying to kill a door here. I ain't got time for this, whatever this is. How much are they paying these guys? green plant for something like that yeah radioactive re where, where did he come from this dude just appeared out of nowhere here you just go away but hey it's about the pizza party there is no pizza party yeah there you go buddy eat a nemesis staff to the face here, you want some you want some oh eat it 
Oh, you think you're gonna run away? Here, have that. Yeah, that's right. I just threw a mutagen at you, punk. Punk. Here, I'm gonna explode on your face. Some people pay good money for that. Now we're back to punching a door. Doors regen, because that would be really funny. And here we go again. Freeze, scum! Stop right there, Colonel Scum. I've played Oblivion too, security guard. All right, hopefully Mongoose is satisfied now. We just like threw a whole lot of money in his direction. Ah, sweet money. He knows what's up. All right, let's do this one. We'll, we'll do the story arc mission later, but this one is a fun... It's the Larry Tiki Lounge map. I was just talking about going inside Larry's Tiki Lounge like 10 minutes ago, and here we are about to go into Larry's Tiki Lounge. Those freaking snakes get in everywhere. I got a call from Larry the Eyes, owner of a local casino called the Tiki Lounge. Apparently there's a whole slew of snakes have come pouring into the place, wrecking everything. Larry pays me good protection money to keep the place safe. So I don't do something, I'll lose one of my clients. You got it, big guy. We got this. Let's go make some snake burgers. Don't worry, officer. I got this. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna clean out all the snakes. Casino will be safe. You okay? Oh. Oh. Um. I did not mean to break your spine like that. Um. Sorry. I'm. I'm not actually sorry. I'm just saying it. Ooh, pain tolerance. I was like getting that one. That's probably the best of the secondary mutation powers. Firstly, for the endurance part. I like this silly little map. Oh, little snakes, you're all dead. Really? You want to not get hit? I don't think so, pal. Sweet. I'm taking all this with me. We're going to go buy a cocaine yacht. And fund the creation of our favorite comic book series. Which mostly means we're buying a cocaine yacht and then buying another one. Here's how that works. It keeps happening in my life. Every day is just another cocaine yacht. Oh, come on. There we go. Cash out your chips. Play the casino. What do we got? We got roulette. Hmm. Judge by the number of cards, this must be poker. Got a blackjack table in here anywhere? Yeah. Now we're talking. Let's go, baby. 
Pro tip, I'm, I'm really bad at blackjack. I'm always a little too aggressive. Plus, when I say hit me, somebody always tends to punch me in the face. I don't understand why. Nice work. Lear's going to owe me one for that. Here, tougher than I gave you credit for. I can respect... Oh, tougher than I gave you credit for. Dabes. I can respect that. Look around my store. See if something is worth your time. Now, we're not going to buy any level 5 inspirations, bro. Defeat Hellions in the base. Normally, I just take care of snakes around the arms. Well, but occasionally, I leave another matters for Arachnos. Just got over... Yep, yep. So, Hellions in an Arachnos base. They set it on fire. Let's go deal with them. Well, Ninja, she is radioactively hot. Oh, I guess she's just not a plant. I see your point. I see the point. This is my uh, radiation spines tank, which is what the, uh, the the people on my Discord server voted for. Uh, her name is, hold on, Google? Dabes. That's her name. Dabes. Dabes. Which I got because it's like a Latin word meaning stuff like uh, wasting and disease and stuff like that, which kind of went with the whole doing toxic damage theme. At least that was the idea. According to Google, Tabez actually also means, in English, You lose. Which is funny. I don't know why English is like this girl talking, and Latin is like some dude. You lose. Versus Tabez. I don't know. We're rolling with it. I wanted to actually make her uh, radiation powers blue, because that's actually the color of Cherenkov radiation. But I couldn't get the like the bright radiation armor stuff to look good in blue with spines. So instead, I went with this uh, unified green theme, because this just kind of worked once I put it together. It's uh, definitely a greener green than most radiation powers in the game. They're like kind of a sickly yellow green. This is like a much deeper green. But yes, radiation, like things that are radioactively hot, don't actually glow green. That's uh, basically an invention of the uh, Simpsons cartoon. Cherenkov radiation is actually blue. In fact, I back on live, I had a character named uh, the Cherenkov effect. It was, uh... What was it? Radiation Fire Blaster, I think. It was pretty fun to play. I made it because it had, uh... If I remember right, there were two point-blank AoEs between those two power sets. So I would just walk into groups, go nuke, you know, like pop a nuke, pop a point blank AOE, pop another point blank AOE, and then stuff would be dead. If it didn't already die, like we would just kill bosses that way. It was a hoot. Her, her costume uh, was blue and her powers, that was pretty recent after power customization, if I remember right. So she might've been the first character powers I change the colors of. That was a long time ago, though. Really? These explosives don't want to explode? Here. Die! Die, bomb! Thank you. 
Well, what's the present we got here? Happy anniversary. What did it do for us? Plus 50% damage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Remember to always eat your candy. It's good for you. Makes you strong. Helps build bones. Okay, that's all clear. We actually need to heal up just a smidge, don't we? All right, Tabez. I'm sorry. All right. Tabez. You can take a break. But not for too long. Tabez. Because you got more Hellions to fight. And of course he doesn't get hit by the point blank AoE. That's fine. We didn't want our AoE attack to actually hit more than one enemy. That's okay. Get out of here. He thought he was going to run away. Believe that. I'm going to get out of here. No, you're not. Oh, these fires don't do damage? Lame. I bet. Tabes. Thinks that's lame, too. Come on, what good is a fire that doesn't actually burn people? Nothing. Not good for anybody. All right, Mongoose, what's up, bro? Hell is a search for magical artifacts. Those guys are idiots. Director of Space ain't got no magic. Anything magic around here goes to... Ghost Widow's Tower. I should probably notice Mercy is literally crawling... I swear I can English. Mercy is literally crawling with snakes. Thank you. As far as we can tell, there were once humans who were infected by some kind of virus which transformed them into monsters you see now. Probably some sort of big mutant snake dug way down somewhere that affects people with the snake virus. At least that's what we guess. Those beasts are fast and vicious, and some of them have a nasty venom that'll sting you something harsh. But if Reclus has put a bounty on them, if you're looking to get in good with Arachnos, here's your chance. Head over to one of the snake pits and take down some snakes. Snake uprising! Let's see, there's usually some snakes like in alleyways and stuff around here. Uh, just bounce around back here. What are these rippers doing? Go, go away, people. I'm looking for snakes. Okay, well, we're going to have good luck with that. But there are a couple buildings that they used to spawn on. I guess they still do. Let's see where's north. There's north. So, like, this building over here used to have snakes all over it. Let's see if it still does. Nope. Was I thinking of this one? No, those are rippers. You know, it would have been quicker if I had just went down to ground. I guess when they revamped the zone, they took some of the snakes out. I swear these rooftops used to have snakes on them. That's okay. We'll find a bunch of snakes down here. Got to find one of the snake pits that they'll jump up out of. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Where's the fight club thing? There's a building by it. This one. This used to have snakes all over it, too. Yeah, here we go.
all too easy. Once we start actually slotting stuff, we're going to be tough as nails, man. It's going to be great. All right, Mongoose, we beat some snakes up. What now, bro? Huh, not bad. Don't get cocky. They're far worse than snakes around the Rogue Isle, so thanks, buddy. Nice work on calling the snakes in the area. Usually we keep them under control, da 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 but occasionally they tunnel or something way down the places. In the sewers! Oh, great! That sounds just so... so much fun, doesn't it? Tabes. Yep, alright. Tabes. 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 Alright, moving on. Well, let's go fight our way through the sewers, because City Heroes is not complete without going into the sewers. You know, I would happily go do a DFB in the middle of this, except nobody forms villain side DFBs. Like, they're super rare. Really, you took me into, like, this tutorial zone full of dudes just to hop down this manhole? Okay, whatever. Whatever you say, game. Sorry, I was sitting here nodding my head to the music. Let's get back to work. I guess clear out means kill all, so let's... Oh, hi, ambush. Silly ambush. As if you would ever win against me, player character. And even if you did, like, I would just come back. Which kind of suggests you should just give up and give me what I want. Go through the breach? I thought I saw, like, text from a patrol, but I don't see the patrol there. Yes, brother! Eat wand. There's a phrase you don't get to say in every game. Eat wand. Well, that was exciting, jogging in a circle there. Hi, guys. You might have seen me standing just behind you. I'm here now, though, so you don't have to worry. Go 
Whoosh! Hey, where do you think you're going? You can't get past me. Did you miss the part where I'm a tank? I'm supposed to have the aggros. Spine burst. Bum, 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 bum. Any one on how to win fights and influence people? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you just reminded me, Ninja. I don't have the self res in my train. Let's drop that out there. Because then, if Cobra over here beats me. I can be like, I didn't hear no bell, and get right back up. Slay them! Cobra! Now, these guys wouldn't be so bad if they didn't pop a freaking self-heal. And on some characters, you know, your self-res is just part of your attack chain. And you know, like Demonic Gerbil, like, die, get right back up, and leave the enemy stunned. Look at him, he's going around in circles to hide from me! We needed Yakety Sax playing right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, I've noticed sometimes when I am fire farming on my uh, super string fire brute that when rage crashes, something in the game triggers and it lets me pop her res like it's an attack. Like, I don't know why that happens, but sometimes it'll light up and I can click on it and it'll fire just like it's a big knockback attack, which is what it is when you're resing. Cleared out the nest. Nice work. Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta get the name out here. Nice work. Job, miss. The snake statue? Yeah, we see them sometimes in the snake nests. Some sort of snake goddess they worship or something. I tell you, little snakes are vicious and crazy. Yep, just to get them to do her bidding. I'm sure. I'm sure there's no such thing as like an elder snake that we're going to run into in like the level 40 to 45 range working for somebody else named Lou Dobbs. I bet that doesn't happen. Hey, Dobbs. you've done some really nice work getting rid of those snakes. You got a new problem. One of the snake pits, you have really active with large groups of them attacking key reckless positions. Perhaps some sort of snake leader in the pit who's directing them against these targets. We need to take this guy out, head into the pit and take out the leader and his minions. Okay. You got it, buddy. You're not one to run into that. Yet. <laughs> With the amount of resist this character has, we'll, we'll be like, just being like, yeah, you know what? Let's just walk into the, the hell of bullets and we'll be okay. See, this is what I was trying to find earlier when we were looking for snakes, like where they pop up. And I guess I'm just really bad at finding that. Let's take these dudes out just because they're here. Good work. Job, miss. Snake leader and minions. Okay, so we can just zip to the end of this thing, which is what we're going to do. And if anybody wants to follow me, we'll just beat them all up. But I bet we can get back here without uh, too much aggro.
Yeah. Oh, looks like you're first, Mamba Fang. You know, many gangsters have died to this music. Because this is, uh... The music that plays for the Sun stage in uh, Hot La Miami 2, isn't it? When he's, like, super drugged out, he's killing his own men, and then he kills the, uh... Uh, the... <sighs> the copycats, or whatever they're called. These guys had a name, so this might not be the place we needed to be, but we're going to beat them all up anyway. Because we can! Yep, I guess this wasn't it. That's it. Okay, so we just picked the wrong way, or is that where we came in from? That must be where we didn't come in where we came in from, so we need to go around this way. Okay. I didn't hear no bell. Hey, I said that already, XLG. Er, that's not XLG, that's the shame of Legum. Okay, my eternal shame has now been made manifest. I can't even read the names of people in my chat. A bad streamer. Really? Oh my gosh, I hate this map so much. You have no idea how much hating there is of this map right this minute. And I know you gotta hit the hay. Good night, man. You take care. High Priest Thaco. Yep. Back zero, right? Two hit armor class zero. That's a good statistic to have when you're playing D&D &D Second Edition. No eggs this time, unlike when we were in a room like this for Kalinda. Ah, she swallowed burning coals. Good track. God, this thing's been here forever. Yeah. No, they were there when Gygax first picked up a pen. They will be there when Wizards of the Coast finally. No, wait. They've already been. They've already gone out of business once. They'll. They'll still be there when Hasbro goes out of business. The eternal snakery. All right, let's get a quick little rest in. Height and speed, huh? The shadows first lengthened. Hello, Mage 4452. What's up? Boosh! Don't worry, giant snake guy over there. We're gonna come get you in a second. We're just taking all your friends out. I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. Uh, work these last few weeks is been wearing me out, but we're here, we got a new character, people voted on what it would be, so here we are, we're rad spine tanking it up. And since I kind of want to go through all the 
little story arcs, we actually have... We're, we're not getting XP at all right now. That's okay. That's, that's fine. It's not like I need the money. And if I wanted to be level 50, I could be level 50 in a couple hours. Looking for friends to play with? No, man, I'm just enjoying soloing right now. I appreciate the offer, though. Hey, all your little friends? Oh, you, you still got one little friend over here. We'll get this little friend first. Hello, little friend. Bruh. All right. Uh, to hit armor class zero. It's on, baby. You're about to fight. Tabes. Who's gonna kick your butt? I guess I should hit rest. Beat drop now. Go. I love this track. And there you go, popping a heel like a jerk. Heels are against the rules, Thaco. Not to be confused with your cousin, Sataco. He's really into Taco Bell. I don't know why. Something about the Crunchero, I guess. Yep. I think I was a little more poisonous than you were. Shiny, look at that reflection off the bodysuit. That's right. One more victory for... Tabes. And... Oh, that's it for Mongoose. All right. In that case, I'm going to go sell my stuff. If you are on YouTube watching this in the future, hello from the past. We're going to call this an episode for you. And right after I sell my junk, I'm going to take a very short break just to get up and stretch my legs and stuff. And then we will get right back into this for some more me doing low-level missions and not earning XP. Look, we don't always have to earn XP. Just usually. Let's see, you're the quartermaster, right? Yeah!